ice cream is Hi, my friends, it's Ro. Welcome back. Today we're gonna talk about how much money an inmate spends on food every month. We'll continue with our commissary list. We're going to talk about all the food items as well as I'll go through all of the food items that Adam buys every month, what he spends every month on food from the commissary. So if you're interested, please keep watching. If you're new here, my name is Ro. I am here with a different hair color. So let's talk about the elephant in the room because you guys always comment when I change my look. I am wearing a wig. She is my first lace front. I am so excited about her. However, number one, I do not have the lace laid down right. I can't see it in my viewfinder, but I'm sure you could see it's like rolling up. So if anybody has experience with lace fronts, give me tips in the comments below. I will be your best friend forever. Number two, I thought I ordered a wig with roots and I didn't. So my sisters were like, yes, keep her. I think she would look better if she had dark roots. We're having fun with her because they say blondes have more fun and we're testing it out. If you don't like it, we'll be back to my brown hair soon. The reason I have her on is because I have a treatment in my hair. I'm going to do a video which is in partnership with somebody. I'm going to tell you a story about how I fried my hair and I had to go to visit with orange hair and it was awful. I'll tell you that story, but I have a treatment on it before I do anything with it. So that's why we decided to throw this baby on, have some fun with her and move forward. But I probably should not have decided to wear a wig on the hottest day of the year. And I can't have my ceiling fan on because it would create wind and make all kinds of noise. So you're going to watch me suffer and sweat. I have to address the elephant because you guys would talk about, oh my God, what'd you do your hair? It's a wig. Is it not a wig? What is going on? Plus, I didn't style her. Oh, you see my brown underneath there. But I'm not good with them yet. But I love them because I have first and foremost, a white crown that I can't get to dyeing every week and a half to two weeks when I need it. Number two, I have very unruly hair and I have very fine hair. So why not play and have fun? That's what life is about, having fun. And now I'm a blonde so I could see if they have more fun. Okay, let's get to this commissary list. What's interesting about this list, they have their foods broken down into pouch goods. Sodas is its own separate category. Snacks is its own category. And then they have candy and beverages is this huge long category. Miscellaneous, where they have things like now and laters, but then they also have beef jerky, cinnamon grams, spaghetti, that kind of thing. Then they have ice cream as its own category. That's cool. So let's go through this before I tell you what Adam spends on food and what he gets every month. He does not eat like the typical inmate. I guess he eats like a typical inmate that's trying to build muscle, keep muscle on and stay healthy. But typical inmates will eat Snickers and they will indulge in that ice cream and they'll eat honey buns and all that stuff. That's not Adam. This might not be what your loved one buys every month, but at the same time, this is gonna cost more. So if they're telling you they need all that money and they're the sticky bun Snickers type, and you're questioning it, that might be reason to question. That's where we're gonna debunk all of this. And before we get started, here is a disclaimer. This is a list from a medium security federal prison. It's a few years old, but he said the prices are very similar. However, things are different in jail. It's completely different in jail. I don't even know if they have these types of commissary lists. Maybe somebody can let us know in the comments below if you've done time in jail. And then also it's different in different levels of the feds. So somebody in a lower camp will probably have more options as well as at different institutions. This list List is specific to his facility, but things are very similar across the board because as I'm making these videos and I'm doing research and I'm finding photos for you guys, there aren't too, too many companies that sell to correctional institutions. I'm living for this look. What about you guys? Okay. So let's start with pouch goods. A slice of salami or sliced Salami, it just says slice as in one, but I don't know, it's $1.40. So I guess it's a pouch of slices, I'm sure it's small. Sliced pepperoni is $2.10. Chicken pouches, which I guess is like tuna, but it's chicken meat, which it, that's $3.70. Tuna, I don't know why they all say K afterwards. Tuna K, $1.65. Pink salmon K, $1.55. Mackerel K, that's what Adam eats mostly. I think it's because it's less expensive, but mackerel is $1.40. Kipper snacks are $1.25. Crab meat is $1.95. Adam found out he has a seafood allergy because of crab meat. 
scary situation when you're in jail. Side note number two, it is so humid. You know when it gets so humid that your paper actually gets like wet and like crumbly? Ugh, I hate that kind of humidity. Welcome to the summer in New Jersey. That's okay. You know why? Because when I was in Vegas, one of the guys that was driving me an Uber, when I said I was from New Jersey, he told me, that's amazing because of the humidity, you have better skin than people out here where it's really dry, you look less aged. And I was like, all right, if we wanna say that that's the case, fine. I'm moving to Nevada at some point in the future, so I guess I'll need Botox, but it also helps the frizz. Not that I need to worry about that today. Tilapia with lemon and pepper, also says K, $1.95. Keefe chili, $1.55. Octopus, $1.75. Ooh, I love me some good octopus, but it has to be cooked perfectly. It can't be chewy, and it probably can't be out of a can or a pouch. Ugh. That's the other thing. Originally, I thought that they got canned mackerel, canned tuna, because that's what we're used to seeing out here. Think about that, though. How would they open those cans? And number two, when you open a can that is razor sharp, that could be made into a weapon like that. So when I talked to Adam about it one time and I said something about a can, he said, we don't have cans in here. It was a light bulb over my head. That's why they have, we see them now in our grocery stores too, pouches where you just do a tear off the top and the fish or the meat is inside of that pouch because when you open that pouch, it doesn't create something razor sharp like a can does. Things that you don't think about when you haven't done time, don't have a loved one who has done time, or you just don't know because you're the wife, you're not on the inside. Whole mackerel is $1.75. Fish steaks are $1.05. Beef tips in gravy are $3.60. Corned beef is $2.50. Now all of that kind of sounds like it could be good, but think about it coming out of a pouch or a can. Then we have sodas. Diet Pepsi, six pack K. I don't know what these Ks mean. I have to ask Adam. $2.30. Pepsi, six pack is $2.30. Raspberry iced tea, it's a 12 pack and that's $4.55. Diet Mountain Dew, it doesn't say how big or how many, that's $4.55. Dr. Pepper is a 12 pack, $4.55. Bottled water each with a K, it doesn't say how big that is, if it's 16 ounces or whatnot, that's 50 cents. You have a limit, you can only get a maximum of 24 cans. I'm assuming 24 cans in one pop. Then the next thing is broken down into snacks. This says peanut butter granola, 205, Swiss rolls, are $1.50. Fig bars, K, $1.75. Let's move this. My phone is probably making noise. Carnation breakfast is $7. I don't know how many you get, but that's expensive, right? I don't use carnation, but honey buns, K, 45 cents. Oat and honey granola is $2.05. Powdered donuts. Ooh, the guys live for those. $1.80. Nutty bars, I love those. Those are $1.55. Iced oatmeal cookies. Oh, I used to love those too. Two twenty. I feel like in prison they eat like you eat when you're a freshman in college. Peanut butter creams are a dollar seventy. Popcorn in parentheses. It says butter, sixty cents. I'm assuming that's for one microwave a bowl thing. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's already made. I'm not sure. Vanilla wafers, two thirty five. Chocolate chip granola is two oh five. Cream cheese packs are 35 cents. I'm assuming that's like the little ketchup, mustard, mayo, cream cheese packages you get at Dunkin' Donuts or somewhere. Lemon juice packs are 10 cents. Powdered milk got cut off. I can't read it. Is it over here? Powdered milk, TBD. I'll let you know when I edit this. I can go back and check the list. Okay, this is continued somewhere. This list is so weird. Soy sauce is $1.55. Jalapeno peppers is $1.95. Brown rice is $1.35. Louisiana hot sauce is 80 cents. Sazon, 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 I don't know how to pronounce that, but you know that seasoning packet. Sazon accent, Sazon, help me out here. 260, Mrs. Dash is 245. Salsa sauce is $1.95. Mac and cheese is $1.05. Honey, K again, somebody help me out with these Ks, what does it mean? 355, beef log, <laughs> beef log. 370, wow. Refried beans, 205. Chorizo refried beans, $1.95. Jalapeno refried beans, ooh, fancy, $1.65. I'm just kidding. Vegetable soup is 30 cents. Chicken soup is 30 cents. I'm assuming those are ramen. Sweet and hot sauce is $1.80. I'm assuming that's like duck sauce. 
Olive oil is $4.55. They have taken it off the commissary since because Adam used to use that to wash or to moisturize his face. That's where I got it from. I only wash my face with olive oil. You guys ask me all the time. I'm gonna do a skincare regimen, mine versus Adam. It's one of you guys came up with the best idea for that video. I love that. There's a little teaser for you. Matzo crackers are $4.60. Mayonnaise, okay. 380 mustard K. I don't know what the K is. A dollar fifteen. That's weird. Vitamin C and vitamin E. All this stuff is with food, not with miscellaneous or medication. So interesting. So vitamins are considered, or some vitamins, I guess, are considered food items. Vitamin C is three twenty-five. Vitamin E is three eighty-five. Calcium tablets are two forty-five. Advanced Ultrex multivitamin is four dollars. That's just mixed in there because now we're back to garlic salsa. That's $1.90. Barbecue sauce is $2.30. Parmesan cheese, for all my paisans, is $3.15. Tortilla chips is $2.15. Nacho chips, $1.30. Sour cream and onion chips, $1.20. Shebang potato chips. Man, I need to find those because I've heard only good things about those. Apparently, it's like the best thing. And when you come out of jail, people still crave and live for shebang chips. So if you guys can find them and tell me where to get them, I will look maybe on Amazon or eBay. Those are $1.20. Pork rinds, ugh, I never liked those, but pork rinds are 80 cents. Pretzels mini twists are $1.65. Cheese crunch is $2.25. $2.25. Cheese Crunch is $2.25. What is cheese crunch? Like cheese doodles maybe? Flour tortillas are $1.20. Corn tortillas are $1.10. Cinnamon bagels are 55 cents. Now this is in its own little area, but it doesn't have its own heading. That's strange. Minced garlic is $1.20. Minced onion is $1. Garlic bulbs, you get a little box of them, are 55 cents. Since they've taken that all off, I believe, because you can make wine. Imagine garlic wine. Ew. Flowery seasoned salt is $1.80. Oh. Now in this totally different section, underneath medical and miscellaneous, you have beef jerky for $3.25, cinnamon grams for $2.05, spaghetti, for $1.55, spaghetti sauce for $2.10, almond granola cereal for $3.15, snackers, crackers with a K, $3.05, saltines with a K, $2.10. I'm just gonna look through this miscellaneous and see if there's anything else food related. Salt is 35 cents, pepper is $1.15. That's it for food in miscellaneous. Now we have a whole section dedicated to ice cream. A gold nugget bar is $1.10. Ice cream cookie is $1.90. <gasps> I can't make this up. With the ice cream is pickles. Pickles, 70 cents. With ice cream. I'm gonna have to put the picture up there or you wouldn't believe me. In the ice cream, we have pickles. I think a pregnant woman made this list. I wish a pregnant woman made this list. That would make it more sensical. Is that a word? I don't know. I'm just flabbergasted pickles with ice cream. That's funny. You guys are funny. Holiday cookies are $2.40. Licorice green apple is $1.95. So I guess I, that doesn't sound like ice cream, but whatever. Red licorice is $2. This is all with ice cream. Who made this? Who made this? Onion dip. Onion dip under ice cream. Okay. $1.20. Whole wheat bread lumped in with the ice cream. $2.95. Okay. Maybe you want to make a bread ice cream sandwich with pickles on it? I don't know. That's it for what is on this list. Now, let me tell you guys what Adam buys every single month and how much he spends. But I just, I'm sorry, I'm looking at my phone. I'm just pulling up the email, but I'm just flabbergasted by the way that things are organized on there. I gave them the benefit of the doubt last time. And I said, you know, people organize things and in their brains, it goes differently. Unless the person who made this has a pregnant wife or is a pregnant woman themselves, I don't understand why you put pickles with ice cream and then bread or salt and pepper with miscellaneous, but vitamins with food. I don't know. I'm very confused. Okay, so this is what he gets, and this is the cost of what it is now, and I need to hurry up because my battery's dying. He gets 30 mackerel for 31.50, 30 health shakes for 31.50. Remember, this list is old, so those weren't on there. 20 almonds at $1.70, plus 20 trail mix at 55 cents, that is $45. Eight rolled oats for 15.60, eight hot pepper mix for 17.60, four chili garlic sauce for 7.80, 40 jalapenos single servings for $12. 
All of that together every month is $161. That's just essential food and doesn't include cosmetics, batteries, and other non-essential items. He'll give us another list in the future. I'm sorry, I'm going through this so fast. My battery's flashing. That's this is going to die. So if you're interested in a video on everything somebody needs the first week that they are locked up, click that video there. If you're interested in a video where, well, that didn't work. I was trying to talk so fast to beat my camera dying and it died in the middle of it. So make sure you subscribe. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.